Matthew Galtier, you're the director of research of Rhythm, which combines artificial intelligence and blockchain machine learning and a lot of more words. What does Rhythm do? So at Rhythm, we build a headband that you can wear during the night and that measures your brain activity. Uh, not only do we uh, stimulate sleep to help you sleep better, but we also collect and analyze all this information to try to identify what are your sleep patterns and, and different pathologies. Um, so, but overall, we try to help people sleep better. Okay, what a great idea. Okay, so you're a very well-funded company. How many people uh, are in the company? Uh, so we are 70 right now. 70 people, and you're three years old. Now, interesting yes. thing I heard, you're combining artificial intelligence and the blockchain. Why the, where does the blockchain come in? So the problem that we have is um, we try to analyze data and to, and to take sleep records and to build machine learning predictors with this. And in this world, the more the data, the, the, more you, the bigger the data, the, the, the better the, the accuracy. Yeah. And so the idea is that um, we go to medical doctors, we go to hospitals and we tell them, give us your data, we're going to create something great. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to do so. Actually, they, they don't trust us because we are a for-profit startup. Uh, because they don't think that we are going to keep the data and do what only what we say. They are afraid we may sell the data. Uh -huh. So basically, we need to build trust. You, you, we, need, we need to make them uh, trust us. And, and, and the idea is to create a system, a platform where we cannot mess with the data, where all our algorithms can learn, can, can be teached with this data, but we cannot access it. Even at Rhythm, we don't want to see the data because only our algorithms need it to be accurate. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, your algorithms need to access the data. Um, Google says that too. I mean, no human being looks at data, they're only the algorithm, but hey, they track and trace us everywhere. So if you build a system that you can only access the data for a particular point, the data is not on the blockchain, it's a separate platform, right? I mean, it's only yeah. the keys to the data, the keys to the kingdom are on the blockchain. And, and what role does that blockchain uh, play? And how do you, how can you make, convince people that that is a trusted platform, that you've created the, blo the blockchain as a trusted platform? So the blockchain for us is the computation orchestrator. It's going to uh, uh, orchestrate all the computations and prove really traceability. So basically, when you provide your data, you can really see all the operations which have been used and for what purpose it was done. And we cannot use it differently because, as you say, the keys are orchestrated by the blockchain itself and we don't have access to the data. So this is one point. We have an open source platform. We use blockchain technology. Everything is transparent. The second aspect is that um, we collaborate with uh, uh, in public institutions. So as you said, we have a lot of buzzwords in this project. Um, and so with machine learning and, and with, uh, with blockchain, we, go, we, we, could, uh, we were able to write a big grant and, and we got a lot of money for, for, for a project called Morpheo. And Morpheo gathers different entities, Rhythm, also Polytechnic, a French university, and a, 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 a hospital called uh, Hôpital Hotel Dieu in Paris. And basically with these three actors, uh, we uh, running a private blockchain, we guarantee that the data cannot be used and sold or, 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 or manipulated uh, in, 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 un, in, in ways that the user doesn't want. Uh -huh. And uh, who has access to that? Uh, uh, it's, 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 a, it's an Ethereum blockchain, I believe, at the moment? No, we are going to use uh, Hyperledger most probably. Oh, Hyperledger, but IBM uh, open. Hyperledger, open source. Uh, okay, and um, so you're building this uh, this system with these, you know, these Polytechnic is a very known university in a big uh, hospital. Are you the only one who have access to that uh, data, or is it more a shared platform which other people can use for to research uh, the the project? So the, the approach of the project is really collaborative. So we focus on sleep as a starter, but the, the application of this platform could be uh, could be for anybody else. So basically, we are uh, of course going to 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 provide the blockchain uh, just for traceability to make sure that we don't mess with it. Um, uh, but the the idea is that this platform can be copied and used in different uh, for different applications, and maybe we even go into different topics in healthcare or even yeah. beyond energy or whatever. You also have uh, implemented in a nice, interesting concept. To have uh, to have um, algorithms compete for success. How does that work? So basically, the idea is that uh, we want to attract as much data as possible and uh, and and as much algorithms as possible because algorithms for us are also interesting data. And the idea is that is, is to say uh, we are going to create a, a kind of market around prediction. And how do we do it? Basically, when the medical doctor uh, requests a prediction about a pathology uh, or, or on on some sleep records, he is going to pay in cryptocurrency and to provide uh, uh, crypto, uh, cryptocurrency inputs to the blockchain. And how do we 
which analytes. So what we do is we identify which are the data which are useful, which are the algorithms which are useful. And we call this uh, computing the contributivity. Simply, I mean, just put simply, you just compute the accuracy of an algorithm before the data and after the data. Yeah. And the increments just gives you this idea of this contributivity. And, and basically what we do is that we channel the, 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 the crypto money to the, the algorithms and to the data, which were the most useful for the for, for the for the um, for yeah, the accuracy. Maybe this uh, cryptocurrency will be worth a lot of money. Okay, great. You're going to talk to more us. You're going to show us and talk to us more about it at the uh, Blockchain Innovation Conference at uh, June 22nd in Amsterdam. I'll uh, see you there. I'm really looking forward to um, to hear more about it. Thank you. Thank you.